In this video, I'm going to show you an example of second order differential equation missing the x term. Consider this differential equation y double prime plus y prime cubed times by e to the 2y equal 0. As you can see, in this differential equation, we don't have any term with x variable x doesn't appear in this differential equation as we see in the previous video for solving this type of differential equations always we suppose z to be y prime we use this substitution and from this substitution y double prime is z dz over dy in the previous video, I showed you why when y prime is z, y double prime equals this. Now we want to use the same substitution for solving this differential equation. Based on this, based on this substitution, if we replace y double prime here with z dz over dy, We replace y prime here with z, we get to this differential equation z dz over dy plus z to the 3 e to the 2y equals 0. Simply, we can separate variable z from variable y and then we can get to a separable differential equation. Note that first we can factor z from this term and this term. The first term and second term both have z. So if you factor z, then we have z times dz over dy plus z to the 2 e to the 2y equals 0. Because z times this bracket is 0, we have to set them equal 0 separate. If z equals 0, note that z is y primes. It's it means that y prime is 0. And if y prime is 0, y equals a constant. Let's name it c1. So this is one solution for this differential equation. The constant function is one solution for this differential equation. Note that because y prime derivative of the function y is 0, if we integrate to find y, integral of 0 is 0 and we have to have a constant. So this is one solution for this differential equation. The other solution is the other solution we can find is from this part of the differential equation. We have to set this equal zero. dz over dy plus z squared e to the two y equal zero. Here, we want to separate variable z from variable y. If we bring this to the other side of the equation, we have dz over dy equals negative z squared e to the 2y. And we can write this differential equation in this form. dz over z squared equals negative e to the 2y dy. We bring this to the denominator and we bring dy to the numerator. So we can write this differential equation in this form. Now that variable z and variable y are separated, we can integrate from both sides to find z. Integral of dz over z squared, integral of dz over z squared is equal to integral of z to the negative 2 dz. We can bring z squared to the numerator and make it z to the negative 2. And so this integral equals z to the negative 1 over negative 1. And we can write this as negative 1 over z.
So integral of the left side is negative 1 over z. And integral of e to the 2y is e to the 2y. But because of these two here, we have to put a 1 half here. And we have to add a constant to the left or right of the integrals. I prefer to add the constant to the right. Now in this relation, if we multiply both sides by negative, we have 1 over z equals 1 half e to the 2y minus c1. Now from this relation, z equals 1 over this expression, 1 over 1 half e to the 2y minus c. Now that we have z, remember z is actually y prime and we are looking to find y. So let's replace this z with y prime. And attention, y prime is actually dy over dx. So dy over dx equals 1 over 1 half e to the 2y minus c1. Now here, if we do a cross multiplication, we can write this in the form of 1 half e to the 2y minus c1 dy equals dx. And now we have again a separable differential equation. y is in the left side and x is in the right side. Integral of the right side is x plus a constant like c2. Integral of 1 half e to the 2y is 1 fourth e to the 2y minus c1y. Integral of the constant c with respect to y is c sub 1y. And so this is another solution for this differential equation.